All right, guys, Lava Wheels here at 290 in the morning. 10 more pounds to be 300, and you'll get that full day of eating video and find out exactly how I put on 40 pounds in just two weeks. They're working with Matt Jansen. He's been amazing. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's coached some amazing bodybuilders, and he's proven it again with me. So today we're going to be doing some heavy squats. I'm just about around four weeks out from my meet, November 23rd. I'm gonna get to New York about a week prior to the meet because of the massive nine hour time zone difference. Uh, get myself to adjust. Um, probably take a couple days just eating and resting once I land. It's a long journey if I get a direct flight. It's a minimum of a 12 hour journey, not including the security, waiting around. So I'm gonna give myself plenty of time to adjust the time zone. But today we're working to a heavy squat and uh, I may, from my next video after this moving forward, have a surprise for you. So stay tuned, let's get to it. All right guys, PR outfit of the day is the black raglan PR t-shirt with a small logo on the left. And then we have the camo PR shorts with a PR on the bottom left and they come up right above the knee and they make your legs look extra big because of the way they lay. I love them, check them out at purelifestyle.com. Wow the size I put on it's much harder for me to get into position now because all the mass here so I'm gonna take a little extra longer warming up because at the moment I can't even get into proper low bar position because everything here is so tight that's what happens when you put on 20 pounds per, 20 pounds per week <laughs> it's all right it's a longer warm up So one way to loosen that up, open up your pecs. So, biggest muscle in this area right now that's causing everything to be here is the pecs. So stretch open your pecs, do it as much as you need to. Stretch, hold it, static stretching, dynamic stretching. Do a couple of sets of each, then get under the bar, do a set with the barbell, do it until it's comfortable enough where you know you can start adding weight. But if you can't get into position with just the barbell, keep stretching and opening yourself up until you can. You don't want to be all wound up here and then start adding weight. It's a recipe for injury and bad squat technique. Make sure everything up here is open up first, then start adding weight. Today's squat session, I'm gonna even wear my elbow sleeves. Squatting low bar creates a lot of bicep compression, which can give you that same pain as you would get with arm wrestling. So, coach advises some elbow sleeves on during squats to minimize that. Because when you have pain here and you try and bench, it makes it feel like a whole different animal. Even ibuprofen can only do so much. And I don't recommend taking ibuprofen unless you have no choice. It's very addictive, it's terrible for you, and only take it if maybe it's competition day or today you have to hit a PR. But don't take it just for headaches or for minor inflammation on a daily or every other day. Take it very sparingly.
ready? One, two, three. Okay. Up. So, just a few days ago, I was able to close it, and look, I came in to miss the second hole. I have to suck my stomach way in, and forget about actually locking it in. This is just the loose way. I gotta make this probably. I might have to bring this all the way to the last hole. Not here, upward. I might have to go about here. We'll see. Up. 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 All right, guys, just worked up to 700 for a single. Honestly, it felt very difficult because because I've gained so much weight so quickly, I haven't been stretching at home or getting any deep tissue work or working with the PT as often as I should. I haven't seen my PT in a couple of weeks, actually. Um, but why I felt it felt difficult would not be because I'm weaker, but when you gain weight so quickly and you don't stretch and stay mobile, for example, 40 pounds is a lot in my frame. This whole area, my hips, quads, glutes, back, everything gets all wound up. So I'm not hitting proper technique. So on the low bar squat, you're supposed to sit back, right? But you need to be mobile to do that. Or what's gonna happen is what I was feeling this whole workout is I couldn't sit back because my hips are so wound up, so I, my knees ended up going too far forward. <clears throat> and what happens is the weight ends up being more so than my quads. And your quads, like your anterior chain for squats, is much weaker than your posterior. So it's not that I'm weaker, but it's just I'm not lifting with ideal leverages because I'm too um, wound up right now. I need to be opened up. So I'm gonna work with my PT, David Johnson, uh, daily and he's gonna open me up, uh, work on my bicep, my hips, glutes, everything, so that I can hit proper depth and um, get into a proper positioning where I can lift the most. Because uh, the, the size is there, the power is there, but now I'm missing one aspect of it, and that's the mobility. 
my mobility really took a hit from getting so quickly. So I'm addressing that now. No need to go any heavier. I couldn't if I wanted to. You know, and it just goes to show like how important technique is. You know, like with proper mobility, there's no doubt I can probably work up to over 850 today, you know, close to 400 kilos. But with improper mobility, I'm hardly cracking 320. You know, so it just shows how important it is. For something like the bench press, for example, a lot of big guys are bench press specialists because you don't need mobility or have any work done to touch your chest on the bench. You can still get into a proper arch and do good technique without doing any mobility work on the bench press. So it's a totally different ball game when it comes to squat and even deadlifting. Same thing with deadlifts. When you're going to proper position on the deadlift, you need to be able to sit back behind the bar, and sit into your hips. If you're too wound up in here, a lot of big guys have that problem. Even my last deadlift session, I noticed it. I was practically stiff-legging it. I wasn't sitting into my hips at all because they're just too wound up. They need to be opened up. I need to become more mobile. So that's what my PT is going to do. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be ready. Good thing it's still have a month, and I'm nipping it in the butt. Uh, four weeks is plenty of time to open myself up. I still have um, one more heavy squat session, and I'm confident I'll be ready and open up and squat properly for that then. Uh, but right now, I'm actually gonna bench because <clears throat> my bicep inflammation from squats kick in within a couple of days, usually when I have to bench. So what I've done in the past and what's worked for me is just squatting and benching on the same day. So essentially I'm only training two days a week, but that's usually only during the peaking phase, the final four weeks when my body starts to take a beating and all those hard training from the hypertrophy and strength phase catches up to me. So that's, that's what the plan is now. these 20 kg iron plates feel half as heavy as the skinny 25. <laughs> feels so much lighter. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yes. So like I was telling you guys, bench press requires no mobility. Um, unless you have an injury, you could be 300 kilos, a 600 pound piece of lard and still touch your chest on bench press. It, it requires no mobility. 
I just hit a PR here. Um, 5.45 for five. They're all paused. No, but not competition paused, but it's not necessary for five reps. Um, but they weren't bounced, that's for sure. It wasn't a touch and go. I definitely paused, then pressed. And that was definitely a PR. I never did five reps with uh, 5.45 pause nonetheless. So I'm very happy with that. I know my strength is good, power is good. But I think it's time for a long overdue introduction. First, we're gonna do Sharif. Come in here, man, in front of the camera. Usually he's behind the camera, kind of the behind the scene man. Hey, you wanna sit on my lap, bro? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, I met Sharif, uh, was it eight months ago in March? Yep, March. Uh, he was actually Thor's driver during WUS, taking Thor around the city. And that's how I got to know Sharif. But after Thor left, I stayed. Sharif lives here for a year, born and raised. So we got close, and now we work together, we lift together, do pretty much everything together. And uh, yeah, he's been a great help, show me around Dubai. Um, he's been a great translator as well. He speaks four different languages. He's 23. He's awesome. Appreciate you. Yeah, no man, doubt. Very honest. You. Yeah, I mean, there's not a bad bone in this guy's body, I'm telling you. I've never met somebody who's just so honest and pure. Just such an innocent guy. You know, he could be a serial killer for all I know, but as far as I know, he's just an honest, good guy. And then today, we just made it official. I have a very jacked and black workout partner, which is now going to be Andrew. Uh, you've probably seen him on my French PR. And yes, sir. Sir. It's about to get very serious. Um, he is very serious. You won't find him on Instagram or YouTube. Very surprisingly, he's very unique in that sense. If I'm, I mean, any guy that I've known with this build, height, the looks, the strength, everything, will be all over Instagram and YouTube, but he's just not a part of it. You don't have, you, you don't even have a handle. You don't even have an account, do you? Nope. He, nope. Doesn't, he doesn't even have an account. Just me. But can you tell us like where you're from and only yeah. been here? I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria? Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Ex-military, two, two years in the Navy. Ex-military, two years in the Navy. And um, I developed this passion for bodybuilding, for fitness anyway, 2007. I'm actually uh, an electrical engineer, engineering student. Oh, you're yeah. electrical engineer? Yeah, electrical engineering. Yeah. Well, I switched to fitness. It's a passion. It's inbuilt, yeah? Self-built machinery. <laughs> You know, unfortunately for Andrew, there haven't been, there hasn't been anyone in Dubai that he's come across at the moment. So you give him a proper spot and motivation. He's kind of been lone wolfing it for a while here, as have I really. You know, for a while back I trained with Mark Boyd for Strongman, but honestly Mark has his own group. He's very busy working for Wuss and training clients, so it just doesn't work. For, our schedules just don't ever match up, so it didn't work out. However, I'm very thrilled to have you know, two workout on it. I mean, I have Sharif here, you know, and now I have a jacked and black workout on. He's super strong. Um, you'll see slowly as we work together and do workouts together. Right now, he just spotted me today. I think you trained earlier today, yeah? Yeah, I earlier today. So, uh, he took time out of his day to come and spot me, even though he trained already, so I really appreciate that. But in the future, we're gonna work out together, so you'll see just what a beast he is. And I'm gonna motivate him to start posting his lifts and basically his life on Instagram and YouTube because I think he'll motivate a lot of people. I think he has something special. And I think uh, people want to see it, you know? And yeah, I'm not going to force it, but he seems like he's down from what, from what I've heard. You know, it seems like he's down to try it. And, you know, with my guidance and uh, assistance and his drive, we're going to be a threat. So stay tuned, guys. There's so much coming now. I'm excited. Um, a few more weeks of training for at least in New York for, for a week. And yeah, keep you guys updated.
Today we're taking the good with the bad. We've learned that I've become far too evil about squat, but that's something that can be corrected very quickly. Like within a matter of a few days of working with a PT daily will get me squatting ass to grass, chest up and erect, no problem. Um, and I'm gonna need to continue working with them daily. Uh, definitely to the competition, minimum five times a week. And even after the competition, maybe three times a week, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split. Because I intend on growing beyond 310, like 330-ish. As I've been saying to my close circle, for bodybuilding, powerlifting, strongman, I'm too tall to be walking around at 300, 310. I mean, I can do all right, but if I want to be amongst up there with the best, I need to be at least 320, 330. I need, because I'm so tall, I gotta fill everything out. So, that's where my head's at. Um, I've definitely learned over the last couple of weeks how important it is to really work with a close with a PT closely, especially when going up in weight so quickly, or even if you're dropping weight very quickly. Uh, bench PR, very happy with that. Five reps, not competition pause, but not a touch and go and a bounce either. So very solid. There's no doubt my bench is going to go up uh, from now until the competition in which I expect to be hitting uh, 630 my third. No heavier, but a smooth 630 is what we're looking at. That will put me in a good position for the total I have in mind to break the record. So I'll be working out twice a week for the program and once a week with Andrew just to do arms and calves. So lots of fun stuff coming guys. As always, subscribe to support the channel, click the bell button, share with your friends, and keep your fingers crossed. Wish me luck. See you guys soon.